Alright you guys, cold and rainy outside, so perfect day to rebuild this fuel pump. Let's get into it. Alright, so full disclosure, this is going to be the third time that I've actually done this. So, um, the first time I broke some stuff and uh, I was going to put it back together anyway and realized I'd forgotten some pieces and anyway. Long story short, short, I've got all the stuff that I broke. I've got replacement for it, and uh, we're going to do it for real this time. So first thing I'm going to start with is the uh, top cover up here. They call this control cover. These aren't very tight because, like I said, I've been in here. I knew I was coming back to get into it again. So uh, that takes a 5 16th. And then the other thing you want is a uh, little tray with some uh, fresh, clean diesel in it. All these parts, as we take it apart, they're going to go right in there. So these do have two washers. This got kind of one of these star lock washers and just a flat washer underneath. So try not to drop everything on the floor like I do. cover comes off. There's a new gasket in here that you want to replace. I already have. Okay, next thing is going to be this piece right here. And so what that is, that is your uh, shutoff cam. So the way you do that, you get a screwdriver or something. I'm going to pull this all the way to this position. You get a screwdriver, a chisel or something, and just pry up on it. And it'll pry right off of there. It's supposed to pry right off of there. Okay, so now um, your uh, throttle linkage over here and the uh, choke will just come right out. O ring here that you want to replace as well. And then when you take this one off, this, uh, uh, I forget what they call it, but this is going to come off and there's a spacer on this side, it'll come off as well. A little bit stiff because I got that good o ring in there. Yeah, see how that comes apart. New o ring right there. Okay, now the next thing to do is to remove this, but I found that you can just leave this on there and leave it attached to this uh, little paddle, and because it's hard to get that spring back on once it's uh, once. It, it's hard to do that down in there. It's easier just to leave that assembled. So the next thing I'm going to do is take the uh, this uh, screw out over here, which is the guide rod for this spring set here. That is a seven sixteenths. We don't have to remove this, but you could. It just loosened up that jam nut, and then it's an Allen. And then fish this out of there. So there's that guide rod. And now your spring's in here. So you've got four pieces. Got this little retainer, uh, little spring in there, this other retainer thing, and then the actual spring. Those come out. So next, now if you if you've already removed this, then it's out of your way. The next thing to take out is this metering valve, and its spring it just comes right out. Okay, like I said, normally, the, according to the book, that and I don't have the right book. I've got a different one though, but it says to take this out, but I'm not going to. So, um, all right. From there, we're going to remove back into the pump here. You guys can still see that. There, 5 16 as well. Now, this one over here, you can't see that. Uh, I broke one of these screws, and they're they're weird screws. They're not just screws. Again, these are not super tight on mine because I knew I was coming back in here. Uh, but they're they're slotted. I'll show you. Not slotted, but they have a neck turned down on them. 
See that? Um, they're almost like uh, shear screws or something. And the threads are kind of jacked up on this one. So um, I would replace these if I was you, and I'm going to. I've got new ones. Um, I didn't have them um, the first time, so that's one of the parts I was waiting on. And you know, part of why I'm going back in here is because these were, I think these should just be replaced. I, I don't think you should try to reuse these. So they're not very expensive. Um, on here, point out this little plate here does come off. So I'm not sure if it matters which way but you can tell on this one from kind of the varnish marks which way goes where. So, but don't let that fall off or don't forget to put that back on. Okay, uh, let me move the camera real quick and I'll show you what's going on over here. Alrighty, so this is the actual pump, vein pump. So there's a seal on here. It's just a, this big O-ring. O-ring, of course that's, I've replaced that. So then you've got this eccentric with the veins in it. Now these veins do come apart, so be careful not to lose them. And then, okay, so you got this eccentric ring. Now notice this has a CC on it right here. That means counterclockwise. And this pump is a DBGF CC. Okay, so everything on this needs to be counterclockwise. The other side here, clockwise. So that would be if the pump turned clockwise, this would face out. This one turns counterclockwise, so take note of that. When you're taking these apart, look for markings like that. And then on your veins here, um, there's a little spring in there. All right, so don't lose those little springs. Okay, so from there, we're gonna take these two bolts out real quick. And these bolts, they're half inch. Half inch, these are bolts that are holding the, uh, they call this like hydraulic head or something like that, but they're what's holding this kind of pump body onto the rest of the fuel pump. And the books also say not to clamp this in a vise, which is why I've got this kind of clamped with a uh, clamp to a block that's in the vise. Okay, so from there, we need to turn this upside down. Alright, so once you get this flipped over, the next thing is going to be this guy. They call this the hydraulic head locating screw. And it has a new O-ring on it right there as well, which looks like I may have to replace again. It's kind of jacked up, so uh, we'll inspect it here in a little bit. Uh, the next thing, focus, next thing will be this guy, and you will need one of these types of uh, screwdriver for it. Uh, I was not able to get it, it was just kind of tearing it up trying to get it with a regular screwdriver. But these little angled ones, for whatever reason, just work really good. for the job. O-ring on it as well. And then next you're going to take these off. This is an inch and an eighth. These have O-rings on them as well. This is another part that it matters clockwise or counterclockwise, and I did it wrong actually. Yeah, so okay, and another thing to notice that these come back, these or come off. Okay, so this side that's solid, it doesn't have a spring in there. This is what's called the power side. I had that backwards the first time I put this together. This other side here has a 
uh, spring in it with a piston. Don't lose that little guy. This is the spring side, okay? So this side should have gone on this side, actually. And the pump is labeled with a CC on this side and a C on the other side. All right, so same type of deal as before. Now, see down inside of there? There we go. There's this little guy. This is the next part to come out, and this takes a uh, um, Allen wrench. Quarter inch. And it was kind of tight. Once you've loosened up there, it just comes right out. Put the camera right in my way. Okay. So once that comes out, now you're ready to pull the head off of the pump here. Okay, and so your flyweights will come out as well at this point. Okay, just like that. O-ring right here, already replaced that as well. Now, flyweights. Now, I have this new flyweight uh, retainer system. The original one looks like this. So, more or less the same. You can see this has these little tits on it, and that's to take the uh, flex ring. Um, that is obsolete. You don't need that anymore. You want to replace that with this new standard iron part. There's that. So, and that's this weight cage, and then your governor weights and everything. I'm just going to leave that put together for now. I'll show you that on the reassembly video. Okay. Flip it back over. Okay. So next you're going to take these little caps off, 5 sixteenths again. Now, this I broke, <laughs> not this side, but the other side, I broke this pin, taking it apart the, uh, or putting it back together actually, the first time. So I have a new one. These have O-rings in here as well, and it's kind of weird, it's just an O-ring that just kind of mashes in there, it's not a proper seal. And I have new O-rings as well, so I'm not worried about tearing these ones up. Okay, so now this pin comes out. And once it comes out, this is the pin, it comes out this way. So you see it's not it's not the same on all four sides. This is the way that it goes. And I broke this one right there. You can see that when I was putting it back together. So when you go to reassemble that, take it from me, don't over torque that. And now this comes out and this is what I was saying earlier you can just leave these two pieces attached if you want to take this out you just take it out like that and then the spring comes off but it's easier to assemble this up here out of the pump okay so that's it for this um, one more thing to show you one more thing guys uh, this is a bleed screw and it's got one of these cool little uh, washers on it with like an o-ring built into it so I went ahead and pulled that off and replaced it um, so don't forget that you will want to use this to bleed the pump once you get it back on the machine. So Almost missed it. All right, so now we're going to take the actual rotor apart here, the hydraulic head, whatever you want to call it. So snap ring. This comes off. Cam ring. Rollers. Roller shoes and pins. The 
first time I put this back together, this is what I forgot to put back in there. So don't forget these, you'll be irritated. Now, I'm not gonna take this off, at least not yet, but you can take this Allen uh, screw out of there and this leaf spring will come off. Um, I'll explain why I'm not taking that apart later in the next video. I'll show you some testing. And I just wanna check it and see. So next, this is kind of a, it's a bit of a trick to get on and off. You can see how there's two separate halves. So these are each the retainers, and then there's a ring, a little spring that goes around those. So it's pretty easy to get it to pop off of there. Getting it all back together is the trick. take these retainers and just pop them off out of the way. There's nothing holding them in there at this point. Just kind of found if you can get them to kind of tilt like that. Oh, my scribe's magnetized. <laughs> right out of there. Uh, I'll just leave those sitting in there so I don't lose them. That's it. So, there you have it right there. That is a fully disassembled Stanadyne or a Rusa Master DBG pump. Uh, it's a 431. So, DBG FCC 431-46AJ. That's all there is to it, guys. So, I uh, hope this helps somebody. Um, I'm going to end this video here, so thanks for watching, and uh, stay tuned for the next one on getting this all put back together and uh, some inspection and checks that we're going to do on it before, so see you next time.